hello all welcome to everybody today i'm going to discuss about splunk and the first thing is what is a splunk splunk is operational intelligence tool and it will make machine data accessible usable and valuable to everyone so now today i'm going to discuss about how a splunk can make a machine data accessible and usable and valuable to everybody so next we'll go to the next slide to understand this splunk i i told you the splunk is a operational intelligence tool so what is the difference between business intelligence and operational intelligence for example if you think about a hotel and they want to change their room prices you know so uh, if you think they they have a lot of data about from past 3 years or you no know, or from few years and they think what by room type and uh, the investing in rooms by type and replacing the rooms type they, they discuss all the data uh, and uh, they they will change the room room rentals in the hotel so they calculating the past three quarters and they they're fixing the rate for next quarter so this is business decisions so it all it will take the lot of data and this meetings may go hours to the days and later it they will fix the rates for the next few months this is business intelligence now we are going to discuss about operational intelligence okay. so what is operation now i am going to tell you a small example to make you understand for example you are playing a video game very interestingly and you are not at all thinking about your laptop memory utilization cpu utilization but still you are playing like anything in the background your laptops or your desktop or your play box the memory and cpu utilization is going high and it going to be hang at a certain time it going to hang then you can do anything you have to restart your laptop to play a game but i install one software or one application into your laptop and again you are playing your video game but at now at 85 percentage of your cpu utilization it give one alert and again at 90 percent it giving another alert it's telling hey your cpu your, your laptop is running with high cpu says please stop playing otherwise i'm going to hang still you didn't listen again at 95 percent as a few says again it will give one more alert but still if you listen then it going to but if they give the alert you can aware that your system is going to be hang so you may stop the playing or you may continue the play it depend upon your decision but it will give you alert now in in the place of laptop put a server suppose for example you you have one a business for example like amazon or a flipkart there every person will come to you and you know purchasing every minute lakhs of crores of rupees of money and if your server is hang for few minutes then how much you going to loss for example so if when your system is going with a high memory or high cpu usage and the one application is alerting you then it will be very use, useful to you immediately your it team go and fix the fix the server or fix the issue what is the find out it and to find out the issue they will find out the root cause analysis and they will fix it but one there is one application need to be alert you so splunk is going to do that that is operational intelligence so very fast decisions and very fast actions so i'm going to apply in a one real time scenario contains no um, uh, firewalls dmzs internal servers and database servers and lot of endpoints routers and switches so uh, so how this plunk is going to monitor this i'm going to give uh, one more example like how we are you know the splunk 
splunk bring the data and how it going to monitor it uh, for example a thief is there and he going to stole you know is to want to steal in a home and he enter into the home but he don't know that it's kind of big bus house you know everywhere we have installed the camera and we are monitoring him where he is going what he doing you know so and this all information real time at real time as i say, as i told operational intelligence somebody already monitoring it like a police and he will he 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 know and where he going and immediately he can caught him right so this is what is plunk is going to do how we are going to do is we have a lot of servers and points which is route or serve and dms is and firewalls and bring all the data if you don't want to monitor few of the servers that's depend upon our business use case but if you bring all the data to the splunk and it will easy to monitor it and you know you can find out wh wh what is going in in your uh, business so this is what we're going to do with the splunk now we got to know what is splunk and how it is doing and uh, how it is exactly doing like what is what it have to find out all this informations so what it going to do is yeah so uh, what kind what kind of information can splunk can take you no know? it can take the server's data active directory windows data rfid sensors virtual machines app servers security devices databases web servers network exchange mainframe application here i kept only few of them but there are hell lot of applications are there hell lot of logs generators are there so all logs can splunk can take if your application or if your server have a log splunk can monitor it or splunk can take that machine data and it will be it will make it as visible and what are all the basic components how it is going to do is you uh, know you have hundreds and thousands of systems or database servers and you know uh, in those all of them we, we installing few agents we called these agents as the forwarders so what these agents do is by the configuration setting we tell this agent hey take the log from particular application hey otherwise hey take the log from particular you know system performance metrics so it take the metrics and it send it to the another comp it send it to the database components of splunk called indexers so what these indexers do is when the machine data come or whatever the raw log data come to the indexer it will parse and you know it will make indexed and it will store so store into their databases so it won't take any um, third party database it will it's store in it won't database and these are the heart of this plunk component which are the indexers and we have an, one more component which is called the search head so where we are going to sit at search head and we can know we, we can visualize all the data and we can monitor all over the information so uh, the search head is uh, search head is the visualization component of splunk and what is the best thing in splunk is the splunk search head contains very beautiful dashboards and reports you know few of clients love the dashboards how it present it present in a uh, wonderful colorful thing like a, like a holy or you can say it's a rangoli you know the dashboard you can make it as a rangoli and give a lot of colors and it will be very useful to uh, the clients so that's why you now lot of people and lot of the persons taking the splunk uh, uh, splunk as their tool so you can use splunk in any manner you can use it as a sim or you can use it as a monitor um, uh, you can use it as for the data analytics or anything 